Once you've logged into ML Exchange, click on the Search tab and type in your parameters. Instead of typing the numbers into the Areas field, try using the Search Map. I have fallen in love with that Search Map. It is really, really neat. You can move the map around until you get to the desired location. Also, once you get to the desired location, you can click on Set My View and it will set the view of the map for every time that you're in the map, which is wonderful, a real good time saver. Now that you're on the map, step one is to click on Draw Polygon. Then take your mouse and click on the points that you want to include in your search parameter. Remember, this takes the place of area. If you're in Dade County, it might be easier for you to use the Draw Rectangle tool and include just the square. If you are unhappy with your selection, you can use the Clear All Shapes tool and start over. This does take a little practice, kind of like playing an instrument. Remember when you're in the Search Map form, you need to click on Search Form to get back to your basic search fields. Search Map, Search Form, Search Map, Search Form. Sometimes it's difficult to see this. I think they should have used neon lights to help us out. Now that you're back in the Search Form page, notice that the Area, County, Municipal Code, Township, Range, all those required fields are now blue because you've used your search map. Now it's time to click on the results. Look for the Results button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Notice the End Results is a grid. Custom RE1 Standard Grid comes with the program for your standard single-family search. You can change that and I'll show you how. By clicking on the column icon next to the column window, this will take you into a different part of the program where you can design your own custom grid. Watch how I create a quick grid. Now it's time to export your grid to an Excel spreadsheet. In the lower left-hand corner, on your Action button, it usually says Export Data. It defaults to that. Click on the green arrow. You will come to the Listing Data Export screen. If you've selected records, click on that. If you want all records, make sure that your radio button is on that. The data export format must be comma delimited. If you're exporting more than 100 records, you must compress or zip the files. All VISTA users must compress or zip, no matter how many files you're exporting. 
or it will not work, Vista users just get caught in some kind of funky loop. Once you've made your selections, click Next, which is in the middle right of the screen. On the Listing Data Export screen, be sure that it says Current Grid Format in the Select Export Grid Format window. Check Include Column Headers, and that is on the left side of your screen. On the right side of your screen, click Next. In the File Download Security Warning window, note what the computer is naming this file. It is a .txt file or a plain text file. Click Save. Please take note as to where you are saving this file. It's easy to click on the desktop icon and save it on your desktop for now. Also, make sure that you rename the file. Notice the Save as File type is Text Document. Please do not open this document. There's no need to do that, and we don't want you to do anything to the document that will affect the import into the Excel program. Again, do not open the document.